All right, here we go. Um, I'm, I, I'm sorry for the shadows, and I was not expecting to use this map. However, it started to make sense because I have to start thinking about uh, the much bigger picture. One thing I've been trying to do the past uh, week, which I've been doing a terrible job of, is identifying on the Dervel Krieg maps and on this type of stuff where my version of the uh, the conflict zones are. I've got 12 of them. I don't know if you can see it, but they're down there. I have to start figuring out what is going on in real time as I progress towards 1915 and start to integrate, weave into my what's been going on in my in my game, my mini game. Now, one of the things I did a few months ago, and um, maybe somewhat somebody remembers, is the emergency measure, well actually, I know somebody did uh, uh, comment on it, uh, Charles Latore, he lost his marbles when he saw it, he went, whoa, what the hell, that's pretty harsh. And I'll try to see, I'm really close to my war game table. So it's the emergency uh, measures vessel identification re registry. I was actually, I called it E-M-V-E-R, I was thinking of uh, Enver Pasha too much. Anyways, I'm going to read it out. It's the waters of the Mediterranean Sea are hereby declared a war zone. Effective January 1st, 1915, all enemy merchant vessels encountered, you know, maybe you guys can see it, maybe that's what makes people feel better, will be destroyed with no prior warning given to crew and passengers. Neutral vessels planning to navigate the war zone are required to register with the nearest German port authority. Neutral vessels failing to comply will be in violation and when when encountered will be destroyed with no prior warning given to crew and passengers navigation north of the strait of otranto and the whole of the adriatic sea are not considered a war zone and thus vessels are safe to navigate through these waters german high command and when i did this i over here i the strait of otranto is just over there and i was like Super duper, I'm being uh, really good because look, the main objective for the um, the Germans primarily is to drive a wedge between the United States and Great Britain. What I need to do for the Central Powers or the Germans is get the flippin' British as much heartache as possible to bring troops here so I can... Like the French are... You, you see what I'm saying? This is why we got all this stuff. I have to try to restrict movement of travel through the Mediterranean. And I thought I was doing great. I was. I thought I was um, avoiding pissing off the uh, the Americans. I did not look closely enough on trade routes. I did not know enough. I'm naive. Then off we go doing whatever I'm doing and the live stream connects with what I'm doing and Brian R. Smith goes, oh by the way, do you, have you seen this primary document uh, website thing? And no, I haven't. And by the way, I poke around and by the way, I find correspondence because I'm, I'm trying to also weave in 1916, so I'm like, well, oh, what's going on in 1916 line? And they start talking about uh, uh, um, unrestricted submarine warfare, uh, and then this bit. And I went, oh my god, are you kidding me? I'm so, I'm going with it, because I have to. I've already put out the uh, statement. I can remember Charles Satora going, what the hell are you doing? But that type, that's like pretty harsh. I was like, oh, I'm being good. I'm like staying away from the Americans. I'm not doing this, that, and the other thing. <laughs> oh, then I read this. Let's see if I can find that. I was like, ah. I was like, oh my God. Have I ever screwed myself big time? But I have to go with it. And it's like, what's going to happen? I don't know. Oh my God. I just love this shit. Hold on. I have to find it. Because it's been like this huge correspondence between uh, Tirpitz and um, Bethwing, uh, Beth Ben Holweg. And it's just, oh, just like, oh my god. <laughs> I remember, I thought I was being Mr. Smarty Pants. Or like, oh, I'm being really good. I love this. 
But it's like... Uh, Baron Burian has stated again and again that we should not... Uh, not so conduct the U-boat U -boat war in the Mediterranean as to bring uh, a break with the United States. He has now even gone so far as to postpone the war against armed enemy merchant vessels as the result of American protests. I was like, oh my god. What the hell have I done? I'm trying to drive a wedge between these people and I've just like um, practically used crazy glue to seal the wound. Holy F. I gotta go with it, man. I just gotta go with it. But uh, what a major monster blunder. I don't know who the hell posted that. <laughs> well, I know who did. But I'll, I'll obviously, as the way everything uh, works in real life, I'll find somebody to blame other than me. <laughs> oh, good God. The Kaiser, you're okay, man. You're okay. There's somebody there. There's somebody there. Um, God almighty, I'm loving this shit. Sorry. See ya.